about registering all these new players. We've done these financial operations to save the club and to sign new players. I hope we don't have to do any more. It is a controlled risk. If we have to recover the plan of sending further club assets, we will weigh it up. But we believe we can register the new signings with this uh, deal. It's, of course, Barcelona uh, selling more of their rights uh, going forward to try and get their numbers to balance. Well, the big signing this summer, of course, for them uh, was Robert Lewandowski. Now, what is brilliant about Lewandowski is obviously uh, what's been going on in that explosive interview that he gave to Christina on Friday. Um, he's gone back to Munich to say goodbye, Jan? He's gone back to defend himself after that ESPN interview. That's why he's going back to Germany. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, uh, today he, he, he is back. Today he's going to, to the stadium and doing a photo with all his trophies. And to be fair to him, he's won everything for Bayern Munich. So he's doing that uh, today. Uh, tomorrow he's going to Sebenerstrasse. That's, this is where Bayern Munich train. He's going to meet the boys. He's going to talk to Salah and in Cannes. And Salah was quoted, and I, I was reading that just before we went on now and he said there is a bit, bit, little bit of talking uh, needed I, I guess uh, we don't understand why he did that uh, and that interview had made waves in Germany first they tried every the bad news coming out from Barcelona say that was Laporta's fault but when I guess they saw the interviews <laughs> and there, there, there is no way there is no way in the world whatever language you would translate that one in that he had some uh, thing to throw back to them well, let's see what Nagelsmann had to say. This is great from the Bayern Munich coach about that quote. I don't know. I'll see him on Tuesday and I'll ask him. I wasn't present at the negotiations and I don't know what happened. It was also an interview in English, which yeah. often sounds yeah. different <laughs> than in the mother tongue. I assume that Lewandowski's statement wasn't that bad. Let's play Man. it again. Let's but, play it again. Yeah. Everything what's happened in the last maybe a few weeks before I leave the Bayern Munich that was also, of course a lot of politics and uh, the club tried to find the um, argument why they they gonna why they can um, sell me to the another club because before it was difficult to explain maybe the fans and uh, I have to I had to accept this even that was a lot of um, a lot of uh, things about me not true but you know in the end I know that the fans because during this this period the fans still support me a lot sounds uh, <laughs> pretty straightforward in English <laughs> yeah, uh, this is what Sam I had to say the Bayern Munich sporting director I can't understand it at all my father taught me that when you leave you never close the door with your butt He's well on his way to doing just that. Now, Jan Builder reporting that he not only is back in Munich to have pictures with the trophies and can say goodbye to his teammates, that he wants to talk to the board as well. Yeah, but they will find a way. This is a time of compromise and they will find a way a Bayern legend will come back. But I, I, when Nagelsmann is talking about his English, I, I think he should be more worried about his peeps because the peeps were the <laughs> most impression on me when he's talking about <laughs> Bayern. And, uh, and, and, and viewers have been listening to us uh, the whole half a year. There has been something wrong in the kingdom of Bayern going Lewandowski. So that was not a, a surprise. But where they will find a way, Dan, is will be some kisses tomorrow and then... Then he will keep scoring against Rayo Vallecano, probably a hat trick in his first game in La Liga. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN Plus.